hey, welcome back, everybody, to this episode of Coffee Talk. Uh, let me check my notes here. Ah, uh, yes, I'm your roaster, your hoster, Bradley, and uh, we are back in the shop. Imagine that. Like, nothing wrong ever happened in the world. <sighs> anyway, we're doing a really special, fun, never-before-attempted uh, feat here on Coffee Talk, where we taste two coffees at once. I'm pretty sure we already did this, actually. Pretty sure it's like the second or third video we ever shot where we do two at once. Anyway, that's not important. The important thing is that it's exciting and it's fun and you're here and I'm really glad you're here. So let's get right into it. First up, we have the Honduras Marcala. We're gonna do a little whoop. Honduras, blah, blah, blah. Man, this is great. I'm talking to real people. I'm not just talking to my cat anymore. It's just as weird for me as it is for you. Uh, cool, so this Honduras uh, comes to us from uh, Marcala in La Paz, which is in Western Honduras, uh, from the fine people at the Cafe Organico uh, Marcala, also known as uh, COMSA, C-O-M-S-A. Uh, yeah, really cool organization down there, um, doing organic and um, yeah, specialty grade coffee. That's really, really cool. Um, this is, uh, this Marcala from Honduras is a natural processed coffee. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's give it a slip. <sighs> they say it tastes like coffee. Man, yeah, so this one's got some really nice gentle strawberry acidity. Uh, maybe some... Mmm little orangey stone fruit kind of action going on there with just like a really, really delicate almond butter, sweet milk chocolate kind of finish. This is definitely on like your more warming, very like full body, very comforting coffee, but it's not gonna be uh, super intense or bitter or anything like that. Just a really nice, even, sweet, drinkable cup of coffee. Um, if you're trying to brew this one at home, I would say, um, you know, try this on your Kalita for once. Link to Kalita, the Kalita, whew, link to the Kalita video somewhere in here, maybe in the box, who knows, you know where to look. Uh, yeah, Kalita with maybe a one to 16. Uh, yeah, maybe a little grind a little finer if you wanna like emphasize the super velvety nut notes of this one. Um, maybe grind a little coarser if you want a little more fruit, a little more airiness to it. Um, Definitely some room to play and experiment in there, but overall, really nice. Um, fun coffee fact. So the Comsa Co-op um, actually um, propagates and grows like several, like very unique varieties of uh, fungi, funguses um, that are specifically grown to uh, encourage uh, soil biodiversity and soil health. They're really big on the sort of holistic natural growing process, which I think is really cool. Also, they've got a school for children, like for the local children on the farm, which I think is pretty awesome. So Comsa doing good, good things. Um, also shout out to our friend, uh, Joe Morocco at uh, the fine importing folks at Liss and Bessler um, for uh, working with us to bring this fine coffee stateside. So. Check it out, Andres Moncarla. <sighs> Coffee one down. This one's really fun. I've been awake for 15 hours. <coughs> All right, this Mexico comes to us from Finca Santa Cruz in Chiapas, Mexico. Uh, Finca Santa Cruz is run by this fine fellow named Pepe Arguello. And I'm sure I butchered that because I'm not very smart. Uh, but yeah, uh, La Concordia Chiapas, Finca Santa Cruz. Um, yeah, washed processed coffee, a little different from the Honduras, so I'm already expecting to taste a big difference. Um, that's a fun thing to do at home. This is a random side trail, random rabbit trail. If you are, want to learn more about coffee and develop your palate, brew a couple different coffees at once and taste them right back to right back to back. And you know, if you're kind of maybe getting confused about what tastes like what, that's the best way to do it. Calibrate your palate, get a little uh, familiar, get a little acquainted. It's a fun time. 
Anyway, so finger cinch screws. Uh, yeah, this one, um, if I had to pick a favorite, don't tell this one's my favorite. This one, this one. Um, yeah, this one's got this really nice, um, I think on the bag it says fig and peanut brittle. Um, the fig note is this very rich, very sweet, very subtle, um, dark sugar thing that's not really bright and punchy, but it's like really, really intense um, and just really, really like sparkly and crystalline, which kind of like immediately fades into this very, very like nutty and um, uh, crisp, clean um, peanut kind of body. It's, it's very delightful. And then it just like has a really clean finish. Um, yeah, different than the Honduras nuttiness where this is very like velvety and thick and luscious. This is very snappy and fresh and zingy and fun. Um, I'm pretty sure I've done that exact motion on this show before where I do the meh, meh, meh. Call it consistent branding. Anyway, yeah. Um, Bruin recommendations for the Mexico. Man, put that coffee off of your mustache. Um, the mustache filters out bad things and germs that would hurt me. So grow your mustache out, guy or girl. Uh, brew. Uh, I would definitely put this Mexico through your Chemex if you're trying to even more emphasize that clarity, that sweetness. The Chemex is gonna make this baby shine. Also, do not miss it on your AeroPress. I think that I was gonna say that for the Honduras as well. AeroPress on this will just like, blow your freaking socks off. Um, I like AeroPress a lot. AeroPress video, also, check out our channel. Links are somewhere. Who knows? It'll be a fun game for you to find them. Yeah, Mexico, really great. Oh, man, it's so good. I've had so much coffee today, but I might keep drinking this and be up for another. Uh, fun coffee facts. Pepe Arguello purchased the Finca Santa Cruz uh, from his father, who also was a pretty well-known specialty coffee producer in the area of, uh, of Chiapas. Um, Pepe is like super modern and precise with how he measures um, all the different aspects of coffee growing from um, using bricks and really, really scientific standard measurements for measuring uh, how ripe the coffee cherries are, uh, taking pH measurements of the fermentation tanks where uh, the, the washed coffee is, is processed, um, or the coffee is, where the coffee is washed, processed. Um, yeah, so he's really cool, really intentional, really special, doing some really good work. So shout out to you, Pepe. I love you. Thanks so much for watching. If you learned something, leave a comment. If you liked the video, leave a like. Uh, if you think somebody else should watch this video, share it. Uh, via text message, via email, via carrier pigeon. That's an old joke, that's not funny. Uh, as always, uh, really happy you joined us. I hope you're well, I hope you're staying happy and healthy and enjoying all good things out there in the world. Um, if you'd like to pick up one or both of these coffees, which you should, go to perkscoffee.com slash shop and tell them I sent you. That's it. That's all. Bye.